Hi friends, this is Mundan Raghavan. Today the topic is data pre-processing, train data set and test data set overfitting. Agenda of this video, data pre-processing overview, data pre-processing libraries such as Panda, Scikit-learn. In this topic, we will see what are the frequent actions or the operations will be carried out in the data pre-processing. Then after training data set and test data set, we will see what is training data set and test data set. Overfitting discussion. So the reason for the training data set and test data set is overfitting or overtraining. We will see what is overfitting in a generic way. Data pre-processing overview. So in real time, you may get a n number of data or let's say a numerous number of sources for providing the data. And we cannot uh, just assume that the data will be in a proper format or a proper decimal values or something. So for that, we may consider that data as a raw data. So we need to process the data. So the general terminology is data pre-processing or you can take data monkey. So by using the data pre-processing, we will process the data and the data will be ready. After process the data, so we will have the complete refined data, which will be divided into two categories, which are test data and training data. So the training data will be given to the machine learning model and the model will be trained with this data. So after training, now the model will be ready to predict the values for the given inputs. So in that case, now you will give the test data and you will see the output. So you will compare the accuracy of the model. So this is overall idea about the data pre-processing. So data pre-processing libraries. We have different kind of libraries in Python. The major ones are Pandas, NumPy, Scikit-learn. If you have not installed till now, please install the Pandas, NumPy, Scikit-learn. Or I would suggest to install the Anaconda distribution, which will take care of all these libraries. So we don't need to install one by one. A general actions or operations for the data pre-processing. Something like you may have a numerous number of columns, but you need to assign some of the columns to the futures and assign the column or label. Then removing NIN, so it's not necessary to have the values in some of the cells or some of the rows. So in that case, you need to remove the NIN values and removing duplicates. The duplicates are not required to train the data again, so because it will have the same input, same output. So in that case, we need to remove the duplicates and replacing NIN with mean or average or most frequent value. Let's say your input has a n number of futures. So in that case, for just one, not a number or an invalid value, you don't need to re remove the entire row. So in that case, what we can do is, we can replace the NIN with the mean value of that particular column, or mean value, so the average value of the particular column, or the most frequent value of the particular column. It depends on the requirement. Next, convert it categorical values into the numerical values. For instance, you take spam mail and not spam mail. So directly we will not type as a string value because machine learning may not be knowing the string values, how to segregate our categories. So in that case, you will just replace with not spam as zero and spam as one. So this kind of activities we can do in the data pre-processing. And after that, removing noises or outliers. Sometimes the outliers may change a huge difference in the average or the standard deviation and which is not logically correct in business point of view. For instance, you can take a H, H column. So some people will enter just by mistakenly 105 or 190 something. So in that case, what will happen is the average will have a huge difference, huge impact. And the same way standard deviation also will make different changes. And next to that, formatting field values such as decimal points, removing negative values and so on. There are a lot of things are there in data pre-processing. However, it is a separate session or a separate topic which we need to take in a separate video. However, for video on data monging using Pandas already there, so the URL has been shown here. The same URL will be mentioned in the description as well. So now training set and test set or you can say training data set and test data set. So as soon as you have the total refined data set, now you need to segregate some part of data into the training, some part of data into the test. 
So training is a subset of the total model or the total data set you will be giving to the model to train the model. And test set is like after training the model, you will be giving this test set and you will just see how well it is trained by the training set. So why do we need the test set and training set? Because if it over trained with the data, so it will predict for the perfect for the given data. But however, you may not get the same data in future. So any unseen data or a different data other than the training data. So what happens is it could not predict correct value. So for that overfitting should be avoided. So overfitting in the sense a creating model that matches the training data so closely that the model fails to take correct predictions on new data. So for example, on your left side there is a diagram and you can see the different types of data in dots. So to find out the there's a fitting line. There is two fitting lines are there. One is like a black line, which is the curve shape. Another one is like a non-linear. So that is in green. So in that case, if you have the green, it is perfectly matching with the data. It is over trained. So for this training model, for this fitting line, if you give any future values, so that may not be in the correct position to predict. And the same way on your right side, there is another one, the difference between underfitting and appropriate fitting and overfitting. If you see the underfitting, so it is very simple, but however, there are so many other data, let's say red cross, so that is uh, above the line, there are so many red crosses are there. So that is not a, that is not an efficient way to fit the line. And second one, if you see that it is like a curve shape, but however, it has the minimal values above the line or inside the curve, so it is only two points, it may be the appropriate fitting. But overfitting, if you see on the last one, it is just going inside and outside and it is like a non-linear curve which is called overfitting. So this will happen if you do overfitting like overtrained. So if you give more training on the same data again and again, so that time it may happen. So to avoid this, we will have the training data and test data. So what happens is uh, the test data will be the new set. So you can easily find out how accuracy your uh, model trained for the unseen data. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellent then is not an act but a habit. So whatever we are doing every day as a daily activity, so that will become our habit, that will become our character. So that is the great quote set by the Aristotle. So with that good thought, I will just completing the session. So thanks all, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.